right, guys, welcome to episode 15 of the Spartan Times. I'm your host, Jordan Vitellet, and I hope you guys are doing amazing physically and emotionally. This week's episode is going to be revolving around the Skills USA competition that me and a couple of my friends competed in, taking home 10 medals and three first place trophies. It was a crazy and wild experience, and I hope you guys enjoy some of the stuff that we did. So stay tuned until the end. But first, we have a quick recap video focusing on last week's pep rally. Let's take a look. Cool video and a big thanks to Stuco for that amazing pep rally and Emma man, mad props. All right, we want to take this time to congratulate Fiona and Julian, two freshmen who got third place in the podcast. Y'all killed it for being freshmen. We can't wait to see what you guys have for next year. All right, now we're going to take some time to listen to VJ and my podcast, which got first place. I mean, it's all right, but we'll let you guys be the judge of that. Let's check it out. Gentlemen, and welcome back to the JVVJ podcast. I'm your host, Jordan Vitella, joined by my never stop second co host, Vladimir Kwadiz. Vladimir, go say hi, man. Hello, world. Vladimir, you know, I hear you're a man of uh, many hidden talents. Many talents, Jordan. But you know which one's the most impressive? Hit me, bro. Recycling. Recycling. You know, that's really crazy because unlike you, I'm very uninformed. And it's mm. crazy how important this is to the earth. Very important. Well, let me tell you something, Jordan. It takes about 80 drivers to collect both the trash and the recycle. 80. 80. And you know how many they had during the COVID pandemic? Hit me. 60, Jordan. 60? You know, that is so ridiculous. And you know what's even more ridiculous is that many people don't even know how to recycle. So true. I went out and asked a couple people what they do, you know, what they know, and let's see what they have to say. As a horrible El Pasoan and homeowner, I do not remember the fact that uh, recycle was canceled. Sometimes I'll accidentally put things that are recyclable in the trash can. Like, I try and remind myself, but sometimes I just forget. I mix glass sometimes, yeah, because we get confused. Have you ever thrown pizza boxes in? Oh, for sure, yeah. They told us not to, but like, we still do it. I know that if it's dirty with food, you can't recycle it. Um, even, like, my bottles and stuff, I try to rinse those out. You know, VJ, it's crazy how uneducated people seem to be about recycling. It really is. But before we get into the nitty-gritty, let's hear a word from our sponsors. Want a place to relax and chow down? Maybe study, do homework, or hang out with friends? Your school cafeteria is the place for you. 
you don't need to spend money here like you do at other places. We got burgers, pizza, tacos, and more. Make sure to check out your school cafeteria where everyone's eating at today. Dang, VJ, after listening to that, I could really go for some pizza right about now. As long as you don't throw in the recycle when you're done, go for it, Jordan. Hey, man, I'm not going to contribute to the 32% of El Paso ones that do. 32%? That's 7% more than the national 25% average. I know, and that's crazy, but even crazier is the cost. It costs $750,000 in processing fees alone. Alone? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah, but you know what's even crazier, Jordan? What is? That a third of what's collected in the recycle ends up in landfills. Hey, but you know what? We don't got to worry about that because we can do things to stop this. You know, we can teach students the perfect ways to learn how to recycle. That's so true. So they can go home and teach their parents. Or, listeners, you guys can join the Recycling Challenge where you earn belts as you learn about recycling, including a yellow, green, and black belt. For more information on how you can recycle better, make sure to visit www.alpasotexas.gov backslash recycle. That's all the time we have today, folks. Thank you guys so much for listening. We hope you learned something. This has been the JVVJ Podcast. I'm Jordan. I'm Vladimir. Signing Signing off. We'll see you guys next time. Now, I'm not going to say we killed it, but I mean, we kind of did kill it. All right, all jokes aside, I want to take this time to congratulate Jimena and Sean for getting second place in the TV production and Cassandra and Alonzo for getting first place in the TV production. We completely swept that field, so let's take a look at that winning video. Many residents of El Paso fail to recycle properly every day. Whether it's recycling a pizza box or placing other contaminants in blue recycling bins. However, we are here to show you how easy and simple it truly is to recycle through the City of El Paso curbside recycling program. Recycling is collected every other week by simply placing blue bin next to a gray bin. Here are some examples of the correct items to recycle. And here are the ones that shouldn't and belong in a trash bin instead. Now that you know how convenient it is to recycle, become a black belt in recycling. Joining the ESD Recycling Challenge. It's as easy as following these three steps. For more information, please visit elpasotexas.gov slash recycle. Congratulations again to the twins, and I can't wait to travel with you guys to the state. Up next, our very own Versace and Savannah Sky submitted a short film to the digital cinema competition. They want to take this time to thank their actors for all their hard work and dedication in making their vision come to life. This is In The Mirror. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check in next week for a new video. This is Jordan Patel from the Spartan Times, signing off. I can't get it out of my head. I see it every time I look in the mirror. What do you see? I see him crying for help, and I can't move. I didn't do anything to help him. River, you can't keep living in this moment for the rest of your life stuck. You have to let go. It wasn't your fault. I feel a void inside me. If only I could go back, relive it, and help help him. Have you ever tried hypnosis? Go back. Find peace. You gotta find your way to happiness.